question here just coming in. Social distancing impacting those recovering from addiction and maybe uh, just in general. Yeah, well, a lot of times what we have really tried to do is get people connected and get them to be close together. Now we're in a time of a pandemic where they have to be separated, socially separate. And we're, we, we have to do just the opposite of what is good for uh, to treat addiction. Mm -hmm. Is this a really critical time for addicts, no matter what the vice was? Because you've got a lot of free time. You're not staying busy. Uh, that would be the next text coming in is, is being home all day bored. What, what does that do? Uh, a couple of things. One is being alone does not necessarily mean that you're lonely. You can be alone and use that for very valuable time. You can get together, you can not get together with friends, but on social media, mm -hmm. you can get together with friends. Uh, you can watch a movie, you can read a book. If you're in the arts, especially, you can start developing a lot of uh, artistic stuff going on with you too. So it, it doesn't mean that you're uh, lonely because you happen to be alone. Okay, let's, okay. Fo let's follow up with this next text. Um, this person is at home uh, yeah. and has been drinking a lot more since having to stay home. Now yeah. what? Well, one of the big things that we have found is that being alone or feeling the sense of loneliness is one of the biggest triggers for the use of any kind of drugs or alcohol. The best thing is, as I just mentioned, if a person is home right now and, and struggling with that, they've got to get themselves busy somehow. The only way to fight this addiction is to get busy and do something like, you know, watching a good TV show, mm -hmm. doing arts, uh, social media with friends, make connections as fast as you can in any way you can, but not, of course, socially where you can touch each other. Right. Uh, next one coming in, uh, a text is, I think a lot of people are drinking more. you got a lot of drinking questions here. Uh, <laughs> since they're having to stay home, how are we supposed to know the difference between boredom and that you're headed down a dangerous road? Well, if you're bored, you're heading down a dangerous road. As I just mentioned, if you're alone, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're bored or lonely. You've got to do something. You've got to make that time worthwhile. All right, let me, let me throw in uh, a personal aside here. Let's say I'm going home, uh -huh. my kids are home now, my wife is working from home, and I'm now enjoying a glass of Merlot daily where I never did that before, asking for a friend. Is that a possible issue? Of course it is, yeah. <laughs> I don't know your wife, so I don't know <laughs> what that's like for you. But uh, yeah, another thing that causes somebody to want to drink too is anxiety. And if you're home and you don't know what to quite do with yourself, the kids are driving you crazy, you know, your anxiety is going to start to build. So it's a good time to just relax a little bit, but not relax with a glass of Merlot. Sauvignon Blanc, maybe, but not Merlot. Oh, okay. All right. Now, all right. Good. Uh, or you just meet. Go, go clean the garage. Okay. That's even better to do. Okay. Next text coming in. Uh, yeah. How can I check on my brother who I know is a recovering addict without seeming as if I'm prying in his business? Well, if it's your brother, just call him and say hello. Just uh, saying hello. How you doing? What's going on? You're my brother. Right. So uh, something like that. But again, don't go over to visit him, but just call him, Skype him, you know, uh, uh, FaceTime, something like that, social media. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, if someone, if you or someone you know needs help with substance abuse, there is help 24-7. You can call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services hotline, 1-800-652-HELP. That's 1-800, what is that number? 662. 4357. Calls are confidential. Help is available in English and Spanish. All right.